the sky is changing, not because of America's F-35 or Russia's Su-57. However, it's because a little Nordic nation refuses to abide by the superpower's regulations. It was unexpected for the world that Sweden would construct something. A fighter jet engine so advanced, effective, and potent that it might shift the balance of air power between continents. It has nothing to do with money or size. When it comes to design, this is about having both courage and intelligence. There is more to the new Gripen engine than merely an upgrade. It demonstrates that even tiny nations are capable of producing top-notch military hardware on their own terms. Sweden needed a plane that could defend the skies on its own without assistance in the 1980s. The Gripen story started at that point. During the Cold War, Europe was tense. Sweden understood that in a real war, War, large air bases would be the first to collapse. Thus, Saab engineers created a jet that could travel anywhere. Before enemy radar could detect it, the Gripen could land on a highway, refuel in 10 minutes, and take off again. All it required was a small car and a couple of experts. It was more than just clever engineering. It was a method of considering survival. It was freedom written in code and metal. The first Gripen models were lightweight, fast, and simple to maintain. They only spent a small portion of what the superpower spent on their jets. However, they performed equally well on many tasks. Over time, the Gripen gained a reputation for being quick, reliable, and affordable to operate. Among the nations that joined the Gripen family are Brazil, Thailand, Land and South Africa. Unlike American or Russian aircraft, the technology and training for the aircraft were available to all nations. A plane was only one aspect of the Gripen. In defense, it came to represent freedom. The story has now entered a new stage. The radar, missiles, and electronics of the Gripen E and F variants are superior. However, the most significant alteration is taking place deep within the plane's structure. Sweden's new engine will elevate the Gripen to a whole new level. The aircraft will be able to fly faster than sound without the need for afterburners because to this engine's more than 22,000 pounds of thrust. Its feature is called Super Cruise. It lowers the jet's temperature and conserves fuel. Additionally, it makes it harder to locate and easier to continue fighting. The engineers at Saab are not attempting to use expensive coatings and materials to make their automobiles covert. Their primary objectives are modular design, digital administration, and effective energy use. The new engine will eventually be able to operate on both conventional fuel and hybrid electric systems. It can carry a lot of weight and still fly long distances without losing effectiveness. It can operate at a lower temperature, extending its lifespan, and improving its concealment. The Gripen E's metal frame is undergoing a silent revolution in a number of ways. There is more to this engine than just power and speed. It all comes down to flexibility, the Gripen can take off from small patches of land, slick runways, or roads. Large runways and bases are not necessary. A five-person crew can refuel it, rearm it, and launch it again in a few minutes. Because of this, destroying the Gripen is extremely difficult. It can operate from unexpected locations and disperse throughout the countryside. Given that drones and missiles are pursuing every target in modern combat, the Gripen's versatility gives it an advantage that no stealth coating can match. Numerous nations are taking notice. The Gripen is a better option for nations that cannot afford the F-35 hefty cost. The cost of a single Gripen is roughly $60 million, which is roughly half that of a stealth plane. It is far less expensive to operate on an hourly basis. This implies that smaller air forces can train more effectively, fly more frequently, and maintain readiness without investing a lot of money. Although it lacks the massive political baggage that American systems have, the Gripen EE performs nearly as well as fifth-generation aircraft. In Brazil, the Gripen is already well-liked. It teaches its own engineers and manufactures some of the plane's components domestically. Relationships like these are what strengthen a nation. Instead of depending on foreign suppliers, it provides nations with the means to establish their own aerospace enterprises. Sweden's strategy allows nations to participate in the technology rather than just purchase it. It is a novel form of defensive diplomacy that emphasizes cooperation and sharing above dominance. Sweden's landscape and mentality served as inspiration for the design of the Gripen. Situated near the Arctic Circle, Sweden is encircled by lakes, forests, and unfavorable weather. Its approach to defense is to fight smart and survive the initial attack. The Gripen is a good fit for that concept. It is lightweight, flexible, and robust. It uses sensors and data fusion to locate opponents that are hidden from view. Its rockets can strike an adversary long before they see it. With its electronic warfare technology, it can also blind, confuse, and jam enemy radars. All of the Grapen's technologies are designed to give the pilot more awareness, increased productivity, and control. This style of thinking is enhanced by the rumored new engine. It gives the Gripen a greater lift. 
a quicker ascent, and a greater range. It enables the aircraft to react faster and stay in the air longer. This implies that with fewer aircraft, a smaller air force might cover greater ground. For nations with large landmasses or island chains, that is a major plus. It transforms adaptability into a plan. A little shift in the economics of international security is also represented by the new Gripen engine. The weaponry industry has historically been dominated by superpowers. Their systems typically have long-lasting political conditions and costs. Smaller nations desire freedom. That path is made possible by the Grapen. It demonstrates that intelligence and ingenuity can outweigh wealth and location. That argument is strengthened by the new engine. It asserts that those who can lead technology are no longer limited to those who spend the most money on it. It is the property of those who create the most intelligent things. The way Sweden has modified its defense demonstrates how nations are re-evaluating air power. The conventional wisdom held that success was largely determined by size and numbers. The new theory is that success comes from being quick, adaptable, and in control. The distributed operations concept of the Gripen is ideal for contemporary warfare. Rather than having a single large base, Sweden can place jets in hundreds of locations. Without the requirement for central command infrastructure, each aircraft is capable of maneuvering, hiding, and attacking independently. Because of this, it is nearly impossible for an adversary to completely eliminate Sweden's air force at once. This concept is further developed in the new engine. This enables the grip to take off, fly, and return more quickly. It establishes an operational cadence that is difficult for adversaries who depend on complex logistics and centralized maintenance to match. Additionally, it makes it possible for allies to employ the same strategies, resulting in a network of more intelligent, smaller air forces that can cooperate without depending on a single superpower. Instead of taking control, the Gripen's power comes from its ability to cause trouble. It contradicts the conventional wisdom on the military's might. It demonstrates that you don't have to spend a lot of money to have good results. It demonstrates that independence, creativity, and practicality can sometimes outweigh complexity. With its longer lifespan, cleaner energy consumption, and adaptability over decades, the new engine is the next evolution of that concept. As Sweden continues to refine this approach, other nations are beginning to reconsider their purchasing policies. Alliances that allow them to select their own military alternatives are being considered by nations in Asia, Africa, and Eastern Europe. The Gripen model encourages them to invest in domestic manufacturing, software development, and repair. This promotes technology adoption and strengthens local companies. It gradually upsets the global balance of military might. Sweden's strategy has yet another significant impact. It helps you gain people's trust. A nation that purchases the Gripen is a partner, not a client. It joins a network of nations that share advancements, knowledge, and experiences. Every iteration of the jet benefits from lessons learned from around the globe. This creates an innovation ecosystem that is independent of any one company or government and keeps improving. Gripens will be able to compete for many years to come thanks to this new engine, which fits in well with this strategy. This change is all the more remarkable because it has happened so subtly. Sweden concentrated on making stealth technology dependable, effective, and flexible, whereas large nations spent hundreds of billions of dollars trying to make it perfect. The development of the Gripen demonstrates that effective defense doesn't require a lot of show or noise. There must be a cause. It calls for those who understand that genuine strength comes from being self-reliant and innovating rather than mimicking others. This helps spread technology and make businesses in the area stronger. Over time, it shifts the balance of military strength around the world. Sweden's plan has another big effect. It makes people trust you. A country that buys the Gripen is not a customer, it is a partner. It becomes part of a group of countries that exchange improvements, information, and experiences. Lessons acquired from throughout the world help each iteration of the jet. This makes an ecosystem of innovation that continues getting better and doesn't rely on just one government or business. 
This new engine fits nicely into this plan, making sure that Gripens will be able to compete for many years to come. The fact that this change has transpired so quietly is what makes it even more amazing. While big countries spent hundreds of billions of dollars trying to make stealth technology flawless, Sweden focused on making it reliable, efficient, and adaptable. The Gripen's growth proves that competent defense doesn't need a lot of noise or drama. It needs a reason. It requires people who know that true strength comes from being independent and coming up with new ideas, not copying others. Analysts around the world are already making predictions about what the new engine will do once it starts testing. People will notice a fighter that can supercruise, use less fuel, and carry modern electronic warfare systems for a fraction of the cost. For a lot of countries, this is an opportunity to join the contemporary air war without giving up their independence or spending a lot of money. For some, it is a wake-up call that power is no longer about who spends more, but about who can change the fastest. The Gripen's rise from a Cold War necessity to a global symbol of smart defense is a straightforward story. Size doesn't always matter. Working together can last longer than stress. Technology that is made with a purpose can change the balance of power in the world. Sweden may not want to be the best, but it has already transformed the game via innovation. The new Gripen engine shows that the sharpest people, not the biggest ones, will win in the future of air combat. If you like this in-depth look at Sweden's quiet revolution in air power, please like this video, share it, and subscribe for more information on how technology is changing modern defense. Your help keeps us going higher every week.